right, we're gonna read the problem. Mrs. Fowler knew that the perimeter of the soccer field was one sixth of a mile. Her goal was to walk two miles while watching her daughter's game. If she walked around the field 13 times, did she meet her goal? Explain your thinking. I'm gonna start with a statement to answer the question. Mrs. Fowler did or did not meet her goal. And we'll just go back and circle which one um, we think answers the question. Okay, so now we have to solve. We know that the perimeter of the soccer field is one sixth of a mile. She walked around the field 13 times. So I'm multiplying one six times 13. That fraction now turns into 13 sixths. I'm gonna skip count by six to see how many groups of six are in 13. So six, 12. So how many groups of six are in 13? Two. So I can pull out six sixths and six sixths. Well, six plus six is 12. So I've pulled out 12 six out of 13. What's remaining? One sixth. I can turn this into an addition sentence because I know that six six is equal to one whole. I could write it like this, six six plus six six and put parentheses around it, plus one sixth equals, I'm gonna turn it into a mixed number, one whole plus one whole equals two plus one sixth. That is my answer. So, the question was, did Miss Fowler meet her goal of walking two miles? The answer is yes, she exceeded her goal. So I'm gonna circle Mrs. Fowler did meet her goal, and I'll scratch out did not. I have to explain my thinking. Well, I can say she met her goal because one six times 13 equals two miles and one sixth of another mile.